Hey everybody, welcome back to Pikmin. Last time, we finished the game. We beat Emperor Ballblacks, got our piggy bank, or our, uh... I can't even remember the actual name of it now. Safety... Bank? Safe... Safe... Piggy bank back. And, uh, today, we're gonna cover some stuff you get for beating the game. And, uh, the other endings. So first off, let's start, uh, cover the other endings. The bad ending that you're gonna see right now. Uh, rather, well, in a second. You get if you did not get uh, enough ship parts. You didn't get at least 25 of the mandatory ones. So, yeah, here it is. Pretty, pretty bad. Um, you can actually do that in the game. Fun fact. Uh, you can lie down somehow. I think you hit my or you hit, you hit minus or one or two or something on the Wii version, and I don't remember what button on the GameCube version. And uh, you can lie down. And your Pikmin will take you to the uh, the onion. You don't get a Pikmin spot on your head, but you you get taken to the uh, the onion or something, and you bonk your head against Sana. Uh, so that's a bad ending, and this is the good ending. You get this if you get all 25 of the mandatory parts, or at least not all of the non-mandatory ones. So, yep, you just escape. That's about it. Uh, the happy ending just gives you, um, uh, gives you the other Pikmin types, I guess. So, anyway, that's the endings. So, today, as well, there's the challenge mode. I love this song. It's so funky. Uh, so, you get a challenge mode, challenge mode of all five areas. Essentially, uh, you need to see how you want to see how many Pikmin you can go in a single day. 
Uh, I don't usually do this much. I, I, this is what I go back to picking for. And I'm not going to cover every area unless you guys want me to. I happily will. But uh, unless you guys want me to cover the other areas, those would each be an individual video because, you know, each takes like 15 minutes. So I'm just going to do the Forest of Hope here because, frankly, it's the one I have the most experience with and kind of the one I find the most fun. So uh, it's also the one I practice. So, you know, I'm doing it and you have to deal with that. So uh, we're just going to go and start plugging these Pikmin here. And, uh, of course, you want to take the correct... Uh, pallets to the correct onion for maximum Pikmin sproutage. Uh, there's some nectar already brought up, and I think I want to go over there first, but no, actually. I immediately want to, um, actually go this way, because there's some pearly clamp clamps where the armored can beetle would be, so I definitely want to get those, because that has a ton of Pikmin. But first, we're just going to start, uh, getting a good, uh, get a bit of Pikmin here at our base, of course. Uh, there's another yellow pellet over there. There's two more yellow pellets over there, actually. And I don't know if I have enough blues on me to get this. I do. I think I was five. I wasn't really counting, actually. But, uh, we'll see. You are gonna drink all that nectar and piss me off, you fucking troglodyte. Okay, that wasn't actually enough blue pigment, so let me throw one more over there. Or not. I'll pluck the pigment instead, sure. Please, please don't. There we go. So, I'll go ahead and pluck these. And you can see the number of total pigment is flashing. Uh, because that's, of course, the number that ultimately kind of matters. Uh, we want to uh, get alive. That's the word. Get as many Pikmin as possible, I guess. There's not going to be a specific word for it. Sprout, I guess? Although we're not really sprouting them because they're in the onion. I don't know. I don't know how this whole, you know, life thing works. So, we got some ball burbs here. I'm just going to go ahead and smash them. And take them back with anyone. Don't really care who takes them. Just take them back. Oh, whoops. Uh, did not mean to do that. Okay, well, this is going terribly. Okay, there we go. Should go to red still. Yes, okay. And I guess the blues are getting this. Uh, I don't know if I want to kill those guys over there, just because, like, they'll give me some Pikmin to work with. But I don't know if it's really necessary, because, like, I kind of just want to get those pro clamp clamps as soon as possible. You don't need many, uh... Did, I saw that? did some get stuck over here? They did. Great. Uh, well, okay. Come back over here, then. Waste my time. That's not me, of course, but, you know, I'm gonna blame the Pikmin anyway, because I can. They can't talk back. Oh, there's Nectar over there. Good job for wasting it, guys. Thanks a lot. And there's some, uh, Dwarf ball, boar, ball Bears over there as well, actually. But, fine. Okay, we'll get some Nectar. Jesus. It's like needy children. Like, whining children. Where's the one Pikmin? There he is. Alright. We have a lot of blues, so I'm gonna focus on getting some reds, because reds will, of course, be important. And I'm gonna get a better angle here for throwing. And fuck it up anyway, I guess. And did we lose any? We didn't? Oh, we might. Yeah, we did. Okay, because I thought he was dead. Whatever. Kill him. And take these over to reds. Not gonna worry about the pellet poison, I'm gonna worry about the big things. Not that these things are big, but they will give us a little, uh, little bit to work with. Uh, should I kill you? I probably should, but... Ooh. Actually. You don't need all those bomb rocks, so... Grab a couple and come down here. Come down here. <laughs> there we go. Let's use them to kill them. I think this actually takes three, uh, bomb rocks to kill, so... Yeah, it takes three. Oh, wait, does it? Might take only two. We'll see. I think it, right, I think we tried this in the actual, the main game. I think it takes two, but it doesn't actually kill them. So we'll need to, like, do a little bit more damage on the side, but that's fine. We can do that. And just throw the next bomb rock at him. Wow, that guy went really high. Wow. Did he kill himself? Oh my god. You're kidding me. Whatever, just finish him off. Uh, go to reds. So we had to pick down a gate over there. I actually don't know. I'm just going to throw a Pikmin up here to get working on the bridge. And uh, then we can use the other bomb rocks up there. Hopefully there's actually still enough. Okay, there's six. We should be fine. Uh, you actually don't want any Pikmin under bridges as they're being built. Because I think even in the Wii version, um, if there's any Pikmin under a bridge as it's finished, it will just immediately kill them. 
So that's nice. That's fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and pluck any Pikmin over here. Might as well wait for this ball we'll be get back as well because we're just going to have to um, pluck the Pikmin from that as well. So hopefully they sprout up in the time that um, it takes for us to pluck all these guys. It doesn't look like they will though. It's so actually what I'm going to do as they kind of sprout up. I'm going to go over and kill some of these other dwarf ball boards. And kill you. Fantastic. Take you guys back. Alright. Uh, of course, we'll have to wait for them as well, but I'm not going to worry about them right now. I'm just going to grab these guys and uh, head over to the part of the Clamp Clamp place to... Because that's going to give us a ton of Pikmin. Uh, I think there's three, so we can get 150 Pikmin from um, from those part of Clamp Clamps. I'm just going to get these guys to the onions as fast as possible so we can like, take the Pikmin with us. Uh, I don't need the ones that are going to grow exactly, so... Just give me you guys and let's head off. Come on, there we go. And we'll uh, we'll worry about grabbing all those guys later, plucking them later. For now, um, I need to get some bomb rocks, of course. Let's get everyone up this bridge. Everyone here? Everyone good? Yes, okay. So let's grab these bomb rocks. Oh, there's more than enough. There's eight. That's, that's perfectly fine. And uh, is there anything else back there? There's some ball bears. Uh, there's, maybe, there's only one per clamp clamp. I guess I was thinking of all the ball bears. The <laughs> ball borbs, rather. That are back there instead of per clamp clamps. But still, one per clamp clamp is a lot. That's 50 Pikmin, so... I still want to get it, of course. Alright. Um, I guess then let's... Let's start using our bomb rocks. Let's use them on the ball bear. he will cause the most trouble overall. Please tell me he can't leave the gate. He can leave the gate. How far can he go? He can't go past the bridge, so... Um, I don't know if you can throw more than one bomb rock at a time and still have it be, like, safe. Oh. You realize we're still chasing him. No! Red, no! Rip. Okay, well, whatever. That guy's dead. Let's wait for you to get back. And I'm going to risk it. I'm going to throw uh, two bomb rocks. Well. Okay, in theory that was going to work, but then one of them got scared, so. Whatever. <laughs> Get out from under the bridge. We need you guys. Come on. I was using these bomb rocks for something. I think there probably are other walls you can break down, but I'm not too worried about it. I probably won't even have time to do it, so. I'm just sort of going to use these bomb rocks to kill these enemies. And, uh, you still have health, so I'll just throw a Pikmin on your face. Finish you off. Alright. And, um... I don't want to use them on both at the same time. I don't want to wake both up at the same time. Get over here! 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 We good? We're good. Okay, thank god. Uh, I'll just focus on killing this one. Actually, that one's like way out of the way now, but whatever, that's fine. I would want to carry its, its corpse back anyway. Oh, wow, that this worked out pretty well. Never mind, it didn't. Okay. Um, please kill him before he eats anyone. I thought that bomb lock would actually hurt him, but it didn't, so that sucks. It probably would have realistically been faster just to swarm, but that was fun, so whatever. I'm not really going for a super high school, I just want to show off challenge mode. Uh, the areas are modified, there are new enemies. I believe in the distant spring, there's actually Mamutas as well as a uh, puff stool, so... It's kind of a place for you to fight enemies you uh, haven't fought in a while. Uh, it's just, it's a cool little mode, it's just not something I get too invested into, personally. Uh, but it's kind of fun to mess around with every so often. Uh, if I'm bored and I don't want to play the main story for whatever reason, I will, uh... I might mess around the challenge mode for a bit. There's still one in there, whatever. He's good. He's dead? He's dead. Uh, so hopefully we can finish this off. I do want to give it to Reds, because I, Reds are going to be... Wow, okay, I'm doing really badly against this, but... Eh, that's fine. I'm doing really badly in general, I feel like, this, uh, ch challenge mode, as evidenced by me just losing another fucking Pikmin. Holy shit, okay. Um, let's take this to the Reds, I guess. Don't know why I have this angle. Don't really need that angle. Um this to blues, I guess. I don't really care. I don't really have a plan as to what Pikmin to give these things to. 
I'm just sort of giving them to whoever. And I guess while we're waiting on these guys to get back, uh, let's grab this pellet posy actually. You guys can get that. And uh, we can grab some other pellet posies as well that are generally around here. Uh, or we can go kill these ball boards. That's probably a better use of our time, really. Because they will give us a little bit bigger of a yield. I think um, a ball board gives you three, a dwarf ball board or a ball bear gives you three Pikmin, so it's kind of worth going for it. And generally around the area, there's 120 pellet for each Pikmin. Um, there's like a red 20 pellet over there where you, you know, there's fire. Uh, and then there's some other uh, larger pellets strewn around. Like obviously this uh, 10 yellow one, which can I get? I can, and I can take it to reds or yellows too. So that's good. Well, in theory, come on. Kill this guy too. Uh, they might not take this ideal path that I want them to take. Because, um, like, I don't know if they'll go that way or this way. Hopefully they go this way. It's the shorter path, and also I, they will not die. That's pretty great too. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. So I don't have any yellows on me otherwise, so... Awesome. Okay. Um, anything else I can do right now? I mean... I could kill you guys, I guess. It only takes, like, one Pikmin on you to kill you if you crush them like that, but... I can't carry you back, but I guess I can just kill them. Grab them later, maybe. Might as well. Uh, there's a one pellet over there. I think it takes two attacks on a Dwarf Bull Bear to kill it. Especially if you screw up like that and miss. It actually does not extend the amount of attacks you need, it just extends your deaths. Get over here, I, I don't want to kill you right now. I'll deal with it later when I have like a bigger army. Uh, kill these ball burps though, might as well. We're waiting on uh, Pikmin to get back to the base so I can actually use them for things. <laughs> do your job, man. Do, do you. Where are you going? There we go. And I guess you alone might as well take a pellet back or something. Just so you're doing something. The music is also a bit faster um, in Challenge Run. That, that's like a huge deal, but also I realize you might be an issue for this Pikmin that's coming back. So I, I'm actually going to kill something with Olimar, I think, here, which is very rare, or at least distract it, but that's almost dead anyway now. So yeah, there we go. I think that's the only thing I've ever, I've killed with Olimar in this entire series, so there you go. That's how Olimar fights. You sort of punch things until they die. Kind of like in real life, you know? Please don't punch things until they die in real life. I'm not advising you do that, I'm just saying it's possible and that's how punching would work. You don't have, well, you don't have to kill things and you don't have to punch things until they just have to punch them. You want to get like a point across? It's not really a good point you're getting across, but it's a point, I guess. Don't even know where this is gone. Let's just fuck these Pikmin. Those guys are still kind of disturbed over there. What's the word? Um, on edge. There we go. That's probably better instead of disturbed. Uh, we got all 100. Uh, we can go kill some stuff. Uh, considering we can't... Or no Pikmin will start sprouting now from the onions or will be uh, coming from the onions that I have to pluck, I guess I'll just uh, kind of get whatever color and then we'll have them if we need them. But I, frankly, I don't want to go back to the onion to get Pikmin because that's just a waste of time. So... We probably won't be doing that. I'm just gonna get to work with what I have, which is mostly reds and then very little of anything else. So hopefully it's good. In fact, I probably shouldn't be. I should be using reds to carry things mostly, just because I have so many of them. I can kind of spare them. Um, whereas if I need any other pick, when I kind of need what I have. So also I want to budget how many are carrying what. So. Only three on that. Carry these three pallets back because they're just lying here. I don't do any work to grab them. Besides acknowledging that I can grab them. And then charge on you. Hopefully kill you. Please kill... Oh my god. You guys. You guys. You have failed me yet again. Sometimes that happens on the Wii version and I don't know why. Uh, that just, it just does happen. Uh, it, it's really annoying. Okay, there's another pearly clamp clamp there. I might be able to get it. I think we do need the blue still to get the box out of the way. I think that's still a thing. 
in challenge mode, so we have to grab 10 blues and go that way, but we could do it. I think it's probably also enemies up there blocking our way, but, um, you know, it's, it's a thing you could do. I'm probably not going to do it because I'm just going to focus on these other enemies, but, uh, we could, in theory. I might. I'm, I'm not someone that plays, again, I'm not someone that plays challenge mode that much. Um, I don't know anyone that really does. It's it's a fun mode, just not like the biggest mode in Pikmin. I'd rather just the story mode is so short that I'd just rather play that if I want to play Pikmin. Frankly, I feel like a challenge mode would be something more uh, uh, more played in like a Pikmin in Pikmin 2 or Pikmin 3 where they're longer games, and so getting through and like, I don't want to play through the entire game. Maybe just to do something in an area in Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3, I want to just, you know, do a little bit, have fun, and then, um, and then move on. I don't want to, like, play the entire game again at the time, so... Probably be better in a game like that, but I don't think there's challenge modes in that game. I think there's just multiplayer... I, well, there's a challenge mode in Pikmin 3, actually, never mind. I don't know if there is in Pikmin 2, but there is a one in Pikmin 3, so... Never mind, but those actually have, like, somewhat uniquely designed areas. Instead of, uh, the same areas you go through in the normal game, so... It's a bit different, but it, there's a challenge mode, so... I still got my wish, sort of. Anyway, might as well grab this 20 pellet here. I actually don't have enough reds, so we're gonna have to risk one yellow Pikmin in this endeavor. Oh, he might be fine. Yeah, he's fine. Awesome. Perfect. That went really well. Uh, some pellet poses here. I guess we'll grab them. There's also some enemies over there. I'm probably not doing this very efficiently, and that's fine. If you guys think you can beat my score, you know, please do. Uh, you probably definitely can, but be fun. But, um... Let's go ahead and grab all you guys, and... Uh, I guess let's go do with just the enemies that were near where the Nova Blaster was found in the main game. So I don't... I don't... I won't have time to go get that, um that, um, whatever, the Proto Clamp Clamp, so might as well just kind of get some other things that I probably can get back in time, so, and this 20 power, that's going to help, it's going to be obviously 20 more, so, uh, there's no such thing, by the way, in challenge mode as leaving your Pikmin behind, um, that doesn't matter, so don't worry about doing that, just worry about getting as many Pikmin as you can. If Pikmin is still carrying things back to the base when the day ends, it doesn't matter. They're still counted towards your total. So you're not losing anything by, uh... By, uh... Whatever. Leaving some behind. Uh, out in the field, so... That's a relief. Alright, let's go and kill you. Hopefully that goes better than the other ball will be fought. And awesome. Go and carry you back real quick. Swarm as many as possible on you. As well as you guys. Someone have a few yellows to carry these back if possible. Let's take only have that one yellow. And but we're not gonna get these back in time, but again, no such thing as leaving them behind, so might as well try. But our final score looks like it's gonna be a 282. I think that's I think I've done better. I don't remember. But uh, that's not bad, I guess. I don't know what a good score really is, frankly, but this doesn't seem bad. So I'm going to say it's good. 287. Maybe more if I can get these guys back, but I probably can't. We only have three seconds left. Oh, well, maybe. Hold on. Going pretty fast. People are slacking, but we can at least get the dwarf one back. Awesome, we got both. But I don't know if they counted, so. Oh, well. But that's challenge mode. Uh, fun mode. Just to mess around with sometimes, but again, I personally would just rather play the full game instead of playing, you know, a round of challenge mode, but hey, may, I, I'm sure someone really, really enjoys it. Just that person isn't really me. 303, okay, so those, still, uh, those did count, and I somehow tied my second place score, just like I tied my amount of deaths, I think, in, in the main game. That's weird. <laughs> Whatever. We have that challenge mode. Uh, again, I can do the other areas. If you guys are interested, I would be happy to do uh, full videos on each area. But uh, for the time being, we're just going to do the Forest of Hope and leave it at that. 
again, just comment if you want to see more, and I will gladly do it. But that's Pikmin. That's basically everything. Um, I show stuff in the GameCube version, but there really isn't anything to show. It's basically the same game, just different control method. It's not really any big, uh, any big differences at all. So, yeah, that's Pikmin. Hope you enjoyed. I did a lot, and uh, see you guys in the next series. I guess kind of an anticlimactic again for this one, but uh, yeah, really fun game. How many times can I say that? See you guys next time.